Welcome to this Windows and computer channel and of course another little video to um, say that Windows 10 May 2019 update is now moved on to the, its last phase of testing. The release previewing has the update available in the past few minutes. So that release previewing is what is the last test ring. It's the one that gets you know cumulative updates before we get them to test out if they actually work well or not. So it's a few million users that will be, of course, testing it out. For one of the first times ever, uh, they're actually using the May 2019 update with build 18362 number. A lot of people were saying, well, well, you know, they're not saying, they're just saying, well, you know, this is a build 18362 and so on. Well, they didn't say build 18362 when they moved it to release preview. Uh, Donna Sarkar and the Windows Insider team actually used the wording May 2019 update pushed to release preview. So it tells you where you're at. So if everything goes well there, that is what's going to give us the May 2019 update in May in a month's time from now. And um, of course, what's being pushed right now is the version of... 18362.30. So this is what is being pushed. OS build 18362.30. And this is what the latest uh, build. This is also what's going to bring us probably a cumulative update, a, another cumulative update, because the testing continues. So that means there are still bugs. There are still some stuff that don't work well that will actually be added as time goes by with the um, list of problems that they might have seen. And of course, that means that we're going to be getting a cumulative update probably at the same time as the May 2019 update next month. So this is uh, kind of interesting. And, um, you know, we're moving along in, in, in uh, what May 2019 update is all about, which is uh, quite cool. The other thing, a lot of people asked me how I was, you know, to kind of keep give a little update on how my uh, build is working on my machine. Well, I've been using it for the past uh, roughly, what, two weeks now? More, almost two weeks on my main machine. And it's actually working very well. And actually, the last cumulative update that was released for my computer fixed... Um, seems to have fixed everything that was wrong with my build. So what happened is I had issues with the startup time that was slow and that was causing a, a major problem. But the update, when the cumulative update pushed through uh, last week, after that the startup time came back to normal. That means when I shut down and I restart, it actually is as fast as it was when I had the October 2018 update. The other thing I haven't seen, and a lot of people are saying that it could be linked to the Chrome browser, but I haven't seen the flickering screen problem. That said, some of you are saying that you've got a flickering screen problem. So I don't know what to think, but I haven't encountered it yet. That said, the flickering screen that I had was not always there. Um, I had a few days that I didn't see it. Then, whoop! I did something, and there it was. So I'm not ex I'm not sure exactly if it's fixed or not. Uh, but for now, I haven't seen it since the last cumulative update. There's uh, still a few people because that's also the other question. Some people are saying that, well, is that upgrade problem from a previous build to 18362 fixed? Apparently, it should be fixed, but I still see a few people saying that they still can't upgrade to um, the latest build. So um, maybe a clean install will be in order. That's going to be uh, something to think about. If you just can't, maybe it's, I don't know, if, if you had many, many builds, maybe it's just a corrupt file somewhere in your build. And uh, because it doesn't seem that there is, or from what the comments I see, there doesn't seem to be really any installed issues uh, more than than usual, let's say, in a regular build of Windows. So that's pretty much where we're at. And, of course, uh, the march is on for the 
May 2019 update to arrive in a month's time from now. Tested in release preview for now. And like I said, I'm having a great experience. Everything is working perfectly. And I'm really happy with my uh, May 2019 update until now. And last question, a lot of people are saying, where are you getting this? Where do you get this? Where do you get this? Well, you just have to enroll in the Windows Insider program in your settings in Windows Update. There's a Windows Insider program on the bottom left. If you uh, enroll, link a Microsoft account and just put yourself in Fast Ring. Uh, well, actually, you can put yourself in Release Preview. You're getting the May 2019 update. So uh, that's as simple as that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.